Hey everyone, Sharper here with another Code Wars challenge. This is a level eight Caillou, it's in Python. Uh, the link to the challenge is posted in the show notes below the video. I encourage you to try it out before you watch the video. So in this one, uh, we're doing a wolf in sheep's clothing. So we are a shepherd in Great Britain. So crikey. Uh, and we are given a list of sheeps and there's a wolf somewhere in the list. And so what we're gonna do is, uh, in this case, we need to warn sheep number two that there's a wolf right behind him. So our output in the case of this list here would be, oi, sheep number two, you are about to be eaten by a wolf. Uh, if for some reason the wolf is the first uh, thing in the list, then we're just say, please go away and stop eating my sheep. All right, so let's give this a try. Okay, so let's say a uh, wolf counter is none. Okay. So we're going to start off with this variable wolf counter. And uh, as we go through the list, we're, so we're going to go for animal in the queue. All right, so Q U E U E. Okay, so if the animal is a wolf, uh, then let's set the wolf counter equal to. All right, so we need to have a, an. Uh, an I variable here. So we need a number and the actual animal itself. So this is a cool trick in Python. In other words, I need to loop through each animal and I need to also have their index uh, in line as well. So there's a function in Python called enumerate. And what this will do is it'll give it every animal as well as the index. So what I can do here is basically set wolf counter equal to the index. Okay, and then we can break out of uh, this for loop because we're done after that point. We know our wolf counter. Okay, so if the wolf counter is zero, that's the first, that means the wolf is the first thing in the list. So we gotta say, oi, uh, go away, wolf. Okay, and I'm just copying and pasting here. Okay, so please go away and stop eating my sheep. It's too much to type. I'm gonna, typing's hard. Uh, let's return that whole string. Okay, so else we're, we're down here we need to warn the sheep in front of the wolf uh, that the wolf's fixing to get him. So here's, this is interesting. Uh, we're, we don't have to subtract here because we index at zero, right? So uh, we can just say uh, whatever the wolf counter is, that's the sheep that needs help, right? Because we index at zero, so you're subtracting one from it already. So let's return, we're gonna do our F string here. Now remember, we're starting with an F because we're gonna insert something into this string. That's called string interpolation. So right here, this hard-coded number, we need to change that to be wolf counter. Okay, so let's test this out. Ah, you're about to be eaten by a wolf should equal oi, sheep number two, you're about to be eaten by a wolf. Should equal oi, sheep number five, you're about to be, oh, okay. So I guess I shouldn't um, break this. Hmm. Okay, there's something about, okay, in this case, what's happening is there's more than one wolf. Uh, so some of the times it's passing and some of the times it's not. Okay, so I'm saying sheep number five, you're about to be eaten by a wolf. Sheep number two, you're about to be eaten by a wolf. All right, so let's see what some of these tests. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, I wonder if I've got to flip, flip the list. Oh, okay, so the, the last sheep is at the big, oh, okay, so this is crazy. Okay, so we need to flip flop this then I think. I wonder if uh, this would work. Q is equal to, all right, so I'm gonna reverse the queue. So basically, this is how you flip a list, reverse it, uh, and let's see if that makes everything pass. Otherwise, we have to work hard. Oh, okay, that's working now. Okay, so the issue here was the first animal is technically the last in the line, and you're at the end of the list. So you got to reverse the list, and then we're good to go.